I come from a family of farmers. They were migrant farm workers here in America for a number of years. And uh, I remember as a boy uh, running along beside the tractor as my dad plowed the field, I just run miles and miles through the turned up earth and in the mucklands around the uh, Lake Okeechobee region. Once you get out onto the farm, everything suddenly gets quiet and peaceful and uh, you can relax and, uh, and if you enjoy your work, uh, it's not really work at all, but it's something that you enjoy doing. These are totally organic, no chemicals whatsoever. Totally healthy, leafy green, all the vitamins that go with it. Traditionally, in this part of the country, livestock is the uh, main production. And so there's kind of a rarity to uh, have, to grow produce and to market and to make a living. Were these all planted at the same time, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. This is such an exciting day for Joe and his family. What Joe gets today and what Joe plants in his new high tunnels tomorrow will impact what happens to Joe, his family, his community. So we're delighted that you're all here. Thank you, thank you for coming. A lot of people like to grow tomatoes and these things. I could get much better tomato production in one of these structures than uh, out in the element. Well, that's cool. You got it. You got it. A lot of doors have opened up along the way. And the biggest door open was when Heifer stepped in. They offered their skills and expertise, uh, and we got help from the Rotary Club as well uh, with a grant to uh, help build the high tunnels. I just didn't have enough time or money to get it back into production the way things were and, and by getting this help from Heifer and Rotary that and got me back in the driver's seat. I've really been inspired by both groups to do better and it, it's given me a new outlook and new incentive on farming. My family was somewhat uh, skeptical about it, you know, that uh, I wouldn't be able to make a living uh, doing this type of work and uh, wouldn't be able to support my family. But I think they've probably been a little bit surprised to see how far along it has come. Probably never thought it would go this far. And I'm kind of surprised myself as well, so. Well, I got a little bit of bok choy in there, which is a favorite of a lot of customers. And generally I can get about $2 a bunch for this. Actually, I shouldn't set this up first because I've got my tent. I'm going to get some good price tags that look a lot better than this maybe next year. I actually started a farmer's market that was farmer-based, uh, all produce from local farms, no resale of any kind, and this really proved to be a great asset for the market. All of this I want to own. All you want all of these? Yeah. People wanted the uh, local grown, and uh, they thought that's what a farmer's market should be, produce raised by the local farmers. Because you're set up here. The main reason I've done this was because I, it was something that I loved doing to uh, make a go raising produce. Uh, I had a love, passion for growing crops and, and uh, I just followed my heart, followed the desires of my heart. 